gravitational waves are essentially uh, to the universe and space and time as say ripples are in a pond, mm. right? So if you see ripples going on in a pond or any body of water, you can deduce things about that pond. What is the water made out of? Is there duckweed on the top? How deep is it? Uh, is there ice? You know, things like that. All the different things about that puddle. By the way, the depth is, affects the, the amplitude of the ripple. Completely, right. So it's why mm -hmm. when you're at the beach, how come, you know, you see a swell sort of out there, but then mm. it gets closer to the shore, it becomes a big wave. Yeah. So the energy that is out there in the ocean, which is shared vertically to the bottom of the thing, as you get shallower and shallower, that energy has to manifest somehow, That's and the height true. of the wave grows. And so the energy is the same, but the height and how you experience it as a, a beachgoer. But where does wind come into this? If I'm, if I, so, because wind can create a wind ripple, Wind can right? also it create doesn't a have ripple. To just come That's from right. The top has an effect, the bottom has an effect, and the side has an effect, right? Where is it coming from? In other words, what it's was bouncing it's, off the, right. the, uh -huh. the sides uh, of the The edges make a difference yeah. if you're in a bay or if you're just hitting a wide shoreline. Mm -hmm. Also, what is the material of the beach? Is it rocky? Is it sandy? So gravitational waves literally have the opportunity, if we're sensitive enough to detect them, to tell us about space time, the structure of the universe, the things that these ripples go through. 